Hey everyone, welcome to the Redmen TV. My name is Dan Club and here's my match reaction after the Reds made a six point from a possible six in the Europa League group stages. And yeah, relatively straightforward night work for Liverpool at Anfield, hosting Union saint Giovanni, of course. Ended up 2 0. Could have been more straightforward, could have been more comfortable, I'd say, but not no massive alarm bells ringing, let's put it that way. Um, started off quite well, actually, to be fair. Uh, in control from the outset. The tempo was really good early doors. We came out of the blocks quickly and Gravenberg and Elliot in particular were really lively, getting on the ball a lot. Gravenberg especially. Liverpool were getting the ball to him pretty much at any given opportunity and we could have potentially taken the lead far earlier really than we did. Mohamed Salah had a chance that he'd normally gobble up, to be fair. It's bed and butter for him really. Sort of arrives onto it in the perfect situation. It's actually a good bit of work from Joel Quanto on the halfway line. Anticipates the ball into feet quickly, gets there first, and he's quite lucky with the fact it breaks to Salah, but Salah running onto it would have wanted to have done better. You could tell straight away he was gutted not to have scored. And not long after that, we actually have a goal disallowed. It comes from a Gravenberg shot. Keeper makes a bit of a mess of it, to be fair. And Darwin Nunes is the man following up. But offside flag goes up. And this time, unlike what happened last week, it genuinely was offside. Would you actually believe it? So, yeah, disallowed goal, rightly so. But yeah, after that, the tempo went out of the game a little bit after that, really, from a Liverpool perspective. It took a bit of a lull, really, in proceedings. It was just a bit flat. Even the crowd sounded a little bit flat. I don't know what it was, but yeah, all that energy and that sort of high pressing and the, the moving the ball quick, that all got zapped out a little bit. It was frustrating to watch, actually, at times, to be fair. And even during that period, it was still Gravenberg. He was everywhere. He was at the thick of the action. He was at the heart of everything, defensively and in the attacking sense, really, for Liverpool. So, really prompt in performance from him but yeah we end up taking the lead it comes from a free kick actually in our own box and Alison Becker has a presence of mind to get the ball down takes it quickly gets us playing Nunes gets us up the left hand side pulls back knocks it back into the path and it's actually a Trent Alexander-Arnold shot this time he hits it relatively well but the keeper will not want to see it again like he gets down just fumbles it into the path of Ryan Gravenberch who to his credit he's the man following up he's the one instinctively thinking there could be a chance here all the defenders are flat-footed he's on the move and it's that presence of mind that awareness that possibility that it could come out onto the six-yard box and it does and it's the simplest to finish for Ryan Gravenberch and he deserved that. It capped off a really good first half from him. And that's I think that's two assists now and a goal in his first three starts for Liverpool. So decent start to his career. And like I say, his performance all around in the first half especially warranted that goal. So it's made up for him. Really, really good moment. So Liverpool go in at half time and make quite a lot of changes at half time. I have to think about it. Salah comes off at the break, Endo comes off at the break, and Nunes as well for Jones, Diaz, and McAllister. So you know, it doesn't, doesn't weaken us necessarily, you know, Salah going off. But I was quite surprised. I know we've got a short turnaround before the game on Sunday. So I guess sort of minutes and sort of getting minutes into other lads and stuff like that. I guess that plays a part. But I was surprised he did it so soon. Certainly with the scoreline at 1-0, I thought he might have made those changes. Even if they were pre-planned. He might have made him a little bit later, maybe when it's 2 3 nil. who knows. But yeah, he goes for it anyway. And again, Liverpool start the second half well. Very much in control of proceedings, but just couldn't get over the line. Couldn't get that second goal just to, to kill the game, really, as a contest. And Union, to their own credit, grew into it a little bit. They had a half a chance in the first half, a, a relatively free header that he probably should do better from. And you could see them growing in confidence. You could see the fans definitely growing in confidence, starting to believe that they could get something from the game. And Liverpool... Had moments where we could have put it to bed. Nothing particularly clear cut. I think Jota had a couple of half opportunities. Jota's touch wasn't really at it for a large part of tonight. But I do want to make a special mention for Javel Concert. Because every time Union did think they had a sniff. Canate was good on the other side, but Quanto was absolutely outstanding. Like, front foot defending, and there's a moment in the second half where you think, he might have got turned here, we could be in a bit of trouble. But he uses his strength, uses his pace, and he gets back in and he deals with it. He was absolutely outstanding all night. Genuinely was. Like, Ryan Gravenberg will steal the headlines, because this was very much the Ryan Gravenberg show. Obviously, gets to the opening goal as well. But Javel Quanta deserves a lot of credit. For the start of the season, he's had, not just tonight. But tonight was a very high-quality performance. And Liverpool lacked that a little bit across the pitch. It was a little bit... 
and I, I don't use the word complacent, but it felt a little bit complacent at times. Just it was all a little bit too easy. And then one junior went, "Okay, then go on, then we'll have a go." We did look a little bit nervy. Even Alison Becker, who's usually so solid, comes out and flaps at a corner. Quite lucky it falls at Drell Conter's feet, and he's the man in the right spot to clear again. So, yeah, I don't know. Not not vintage Liverpool, but ultimately three points. And we actually end up wrapping up with a second goal. Jogo Jota on the counter attack finishes really well, and he had a poor night up until this point. He had a half chance earlier on a header that. He got up a little bit too early for him and it ended up being a little bit weak and a little bit tame. But overall, decent night's work, like I say. Job done. Good process, boys. Well done. Like That's all that really matters, getting the three points at this stage. But it definitely wasn't a classic from the Reds. Definitely not. But like I say, a couple of shining lights. Ryan Graverberg in particular. But Jarell Quanta also deserves special, special praise because there were two top performances from them too. Anyway, loads more content to come as ever. It's obviously we've got Brighton on Sunday as well, but head over to Redmen Plus, check out player ratings, instant match reaction, we'll have the final words tomorrow morning as well. So until next time, take it easy. Up the Reds.